Hello and welcome. I am Zyner and we are back again for more Ultra Hardcore. I didn't really do a whole lot. I got everything smelted up and whatnot, but that's about it. We are going to... I thought it was becoming nighttime when I stopped last time, but... Uh, apparently not. Hmm. I must have spent more time in that cave smelting those things than I thought I was. I didn't look outside because I didn't want to risk getting shot in the face and having me die off camera or something. And I don't think this kind of tree can give apples, but it was there. So I cut it down. So, last episode was a lot longer than I had intended. And on another note... Uh, I've noticed, well, my Skyrim hasn't really been getting uploaded, but not a whole lot has been going on because I've kind of been distracted. Because you see, I got Diablo 3, but, and I've been playing and I've been tr trying to make sure to get these videos out, but sometimes you just kind of get really distracted with the game, and then by the time you look at the clock, you're like, well, crap, I'm tired, but I need to record this. And I'm much better off recording it, or not recording it, than recording it while so stupid tired that it's completely pointless. So, that kind of happened yesterday with Ultra Hardcore as well. I wanted to do it, but I kind of completely forgot about it till I was like, man, I'm so tired that uh, I just like have got to go to bed. It would not have been a good thing. And I'm trying to find apples in case you don't remember that fact. Because I have three gold worth of apples. Oop, there's... Oop, wow. I was going to say, why do I not have this? And there's another apple. What I should do is just try and get a large stock of apples. And I th don't think there's really anything left of that abandoned mine shaft, so I need to find another one. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Alright, three golden apples. Whoa, I almost made a grave mistake there. Okay. It's gonna be so nice to actually have health again. And this will bring me up to seven and a half. Hmm. I want extra apples, but. Getting anymore. And if the game is louder than me, I apologize for that. So, yeah. Uh, right. I was thinking, you know, should I live the whole way to the end and kill the dragon and whatnot? I was wondering if I should turn this into more of like a, a let's play in ultra hardcore cuz i think that'd be pretty intense you know i'd still keep the same rules of no branch mining no sleeping through the nights and stuff but i'd actually build things and do this and do that and whatnot and i figured that sitting here doing something boring and monotonous like chopping a tree might be a good time to ask about that and for some odd reason went from mouse being extremely low sensitivity to sometimes randomly going really fast. Oh, and sometimes not moving at all. What is going on here with this mouse? It works fine. My other Windows user profile, I've been over this multiple times, but of course, Department of Redundancy Department, so...
see. I don't want that. I don't want that. Keep the pumpkin. That is a lot of wood. I don't need two different types of wood. I think night's encroaching. Come on now. At least... I should be going for at least two more apples, to be honest. I thought I saw it right up here, but I was, bet it was just a rose. Yep, it was just a rose. All off in the distance by itself. One apple. And I realized I'm gonna have to clear my inventory of the saplings again. I was originally gonna wait till I was done to do that, but I did it. And these leaves are really loud. I should not be standing where I'm standing, because those leaves cause it could just deteriorate at any time. did everything but equip the axe. There's a cave right here. I'd like to find a ravine because ravines are the easiest places to look for abandoned mine shafts. Because, well, abandoned mine shafts have a very large tendency to intersect them. I didn't want this entire episode to be sitting here trying to get apples, but the right things are going. That's kind of how it's happening. Just give me one more apple. One more? Please, just one more. Bah! I... I actually don't know what the chance for getting an apple is. I think it's like 1 in 100 leaves or something like that. So, realistically, I can be at this in a very long time before I find another apple. I'd rather not sit here and do this because... It's a bit boring. I wish you could break leaves with shears. Mm. I'm mostly just trying to use this axe up at the moment. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I don't want to just throw it away, so I'm wasting it on bunches of leaves. Yep, still only one apple. This is retarded. I kind of want to go back down into that abandoned mine shaft I was in, but it almost seems like a complete waste. We'd be better off searching the countryside trying to look for another one. But I'd have to get pretty far away from here to find another one.
I don't have much luck finding surface ravines usually, so chances of me finding a ravine to look for one are pretty low as well. Believe it or not. I was half expecting to just randomly find a ravine right after I said that. There's lava over there. Zombie? Oh no! No! Wait. I didn't take fall damage from that, did I? Mm, no. Doesn't look like it. My health is what it should be at. I definitely should have taken fall damage. I have no idea where I'm going right now. You know that? <laughs> I'm just going. Man, I heard the sounds of things walking and it might have been me. I might be a little bit paranoid. It's a creeper, a skeleton, by a tree. And that's a skeleton. I can't get an angle on because of the way he moved. Oh. What? Oh, he's on the other side of the tree. I was like, I hear a zombie, but I don't see a zombie. I'm just gonna leave that zombie alone. He's not hurting nobody, he's just over there hugging a tree. skeleton, however, was in my way. And so he was vanquished. What? Two hits. Interesting. Very interesting. You know, I'd go find, like, an ocean biome to find an abandoned mine chef, or a ravine, or both. But looking underwater in those can actually be fairly dangerous. Is this the desert I built my nether portal in? It might be. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you doing? So, hmm, whoa, cactus, that's a death trap. You know, the chances of me finding my nether portal, even if I am in the same desert, are pretty slim because I'm retarded like that. Hmm. I mean, if I wanted to go back to the nether, I could always just make another nether portal. But, I, I don't know. The thing is, is I want to make sure I come out near the uh, the fortress again, preferably in the exact same portal. And I guarantee you, I could probably find another, or I could probably, you know, find that another portal, or at least get close enough where I can cause a link up. I don't even know why I bothered just wasting that on that. Come on, guys. Shit. Shit. Oh, I 
didn't mean to look at him. Not yet, anyway. I'm sure you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. You know what? I don't blame you. Where'd he go? The hell? I bet he stepped in a patch of water and disappeared. Did you see that spider just die up there on some, uh... Stuff? Stuff. Um, cactus. Where'd you go, Enderman? Yeah, I have no idea where the Enderman went. You know, if I could get an enchanted bow, that would kind of be kind of handy. And granted, I could just plop it down and chant my own as it is. Tower one. There. Oh, there you are. You mad? Looks like the sun's starting to rise. It's never a good sign. Taking my cobblestone back, even though it's easily enough obtained that this is pointless, but it's taking my cobblestone back. But the reason why I'm going to go to the nether is because in order to make eyes of Ender, I'm going to need need the uh, blaze rods so I can make blaze powder. So, I'm going to have to go back there. So it's a good thing I kept a hold of that magma cream. And I'm not going to eat that food because I do not wish to waste it. Hole? What? Interesting. Look at that cheaty snow. And then you got snow that's sitting on top of reeds. Hmm. How very interesting. So this is an ocean biome, and I kind of want to find an underwater ravine. Even better, an underwater mine shaft. Uh. God dang it, I hate ending up with odd numbers of wood. Go away. Erg. Yes, I'm aware I have enough wood to make another workbench, no problem, but I wanted it anyway. Now, we are going to go for a bit of a sale. And have a look around, see if we can't find any 
underwater ravines. They're a lot easier to find in the ocean than they are on land, at least for me. Partly because you move faster and partly because they, you know, it goes down deeper, so they're also more likely to go straight down to diamond level. Oh, I just cheated. Because I can see through the ground right there, and that looks much like an abandoned mine shaft. You see that? And now that I've seen it, I want to go there. I know it's cheating, but it's not really cheating, it's just saving time. Saving your time. And with my luck, that's going to be the exact same mine shaft that I just came out of. How much you want to bet? Smash the boat, leave the stuff there. I thought I just heard a skeleton. imagining things. Spiral staircase? Because I obviously don't feel safe digging straight down, so... We are spiraling. Now, I don't exactly know that this is the exact location of that mine shaft. So, I'm probably going to end up maybe near it. Then I'll probably end up hearing mobs. I'm trying to go over to them. I might end up going straight down to bedrock doing this and never actually finding that mine shaft because my guesstimate on distance could be very, very off. Or, there's a possibility I could dig straight into it. And there's no telling what's going to happen until it does. Oops. Oh, I hate gravel. This is quite possibly the most unsafe way digging down ever. Okay, looks like we're out of the gravel. Oh! Okay. So, what do you think the chances are I've already passed the abandoned mine shaft? I hear water. Not hitting F3. That is my goal. Not hitting it. As much as I want to, to see how deep I am, I'm not going to. Oops, took out the step. I no longer hear the water, and I've really been digging for a while, so I have got to be getting close to bedrock. Whoops. Oh, there's the bedrock. Let's go up and listen for this water.
Oh. Ravine. Beautiful. Don't see any mobs currently. Okay, there's the mine shaft. I was trying to critically hit him. Lava, I hear zombie. This is definitely not the same mine shaft because I don't recall finding a ravine, let alone a double ravine. Oh. And that's a dungeon. Iron, take it. Oh, that sucked. Don't get me wrong. Finding a dungeon always is kind of interesting. Is that a chest? No. I'm sure you can tell I don't have the brightness super turned up on my game like a lot of people do. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Oh, he died? Ah! Ah, is that gold? That's definitely gold. Ooh, don't look that way. There's an enderman that way. Skeleton should be fairly trapped now. Okay, there's only one possible location the skeleton can be now. Well, yeah, pretty much. Alright. That's not exactly what I would call the most optimal way of handling a skeleton, but... Where's that gold I saw? Yes, I'm aware I'm not picking it up because my bags are full. What am I what did I get from that? Five? Sure felt like I dug up more than that. Hmm. Strange. Do 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 do, and do. Uh, now I'm actually watching the clock today, and we're unfortunately gonna have to call this here most directly. But I'm 
I'm not going that way, or even looking that way, because there's an Enderman there. Wait, why did this way lighting glitch? It was fine before. Oh, more gold! What are we at? Ten. That's good. Well, technically eleven, because we got that one bar. You fucker! I thought you were a goddamn... Creepy spider. Why is there so many spiders? Please, it's creeping me out, man. Oh no! No, 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 no. I saw that, and I'm not dealing with it. More gold. Oh, one piece of gold. I was going to go down that one spot, and I realized I said that about watching the clock, and that I should stop, but for some reason, I'm not stopping. Ah! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, that goes down. Do I see a chest over here? No. Oh my god. I'm like cursed. I am cursed to never find melon seeds. Lighting glitches going on here. That rather worries me. Bucket of water. Creeper committed suicide. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I just don't feel like dealing with the water. I don't trust this one bit. Normal spiders. Still going to block them off. I want to deal with them. More gold. Wow, my luck with gold in here has just been amazing. Wish I would have brought more apples. I'm at 21 gold already. Okay. I swear. I'm stopping in three minutes. Three minutes, I say. I 
I could make it a double length episode. Oh, wow. Scared the shit out of me. Apparently there was a way around. Oh, out of torches. Okay, you know what? Out of torches. Which means I'm just going to barricade myself in here. Make these torches, which I'm going to need to get some more coal. So remind me to keep an eye out for that. And we're going to stop here because I believe this to be relatively safe. And I will see you guys next time.